Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Tonight, I'd like to return to something that we discussed way back in episode three of this series. And uh, that was way back in May, as I recall. Um, and kind of hit it from the viewpoint of all the stuff that we've done since then and go back and kind of fill it out and take it to another a deeper level Except you and uh, the topic uh, that I'm referring to is reaching and you've heard me discuss many 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 times uh, you know to point and reach or to reach with your elbow or whatever and it um, I think it needs a little bit of a investigation take it to uh, you know, kind of peel away some of the layers because it's, we all understand what the word means, but there are unconscious blocks to actually implementing that in the fullness of the, uh, the term. So the, what I've discovered over the, over the years is uh, that, you know, I'll, I'll say something to reach and they'll say, okay, I'm reaching. And and that will be, you know, there, there's a point there where it feels uncomfortable go, to go beyond. And there's the brakes get fired. People start to, they start to pull back at a certain point. There is a, an unconscious response to pull in. So the, uh, just like, you know, you reach out and you find something unexpected is that quick pullback. That's sort of a, a pre-conscious response. And that pervades a lot, of our, uh, a lot of our actions. I mean, some of it is nature and some of it is nurture. You know, the, obviously the, you, you touch a stove and you pull back right away. That's, that's, not, that's not coming from up here. That's happening way down in the, in the spinal cord, that, that immediate response. But there's uh, some parts which are nurture which are the ideas of I reach and I get my hand slapped, you know, that, that kind of thing. There's a, a tendency to not want to extend too far. You know, the idea of don't stick your neck out or you'll get it chopped off kind of idea, which is something which pervades a lot of uh, our upbringing. And so consequently, there's built into our adult body mind, a reluctance to extend beyond a certain point, to actually, to feel into that. And just to go back to the idea of why is it important to reach? So I draw a distinction here between, let's say using my arm, between pushing my arm out and reaching with my fingers. So the, the movement looks pretty much identical, but what's happening inside is very different, polar opposites. So in a, in a sense, it's whatever I'm reaching, my arm is kind of being pulled out. Whenever I'm pushing it out, I'm extending and using muscular contraction to, to make that, to make it go, to make it go out. And both get the job done, uh, but the in the reaching, what happens is we're using an entirely different system. We're using the sinews to make that happen. And that is where the gin is um, stored, is not stored, manifested, is generated. There we go. That's the word. We generate the gin through the sinews, through the connective tissue system. And in Taiji Tran, through the Western Gate, I talked about why that might be the case. I thought I presented a, a fairly decent scientific examination of the connective tissue system as a liquid crystal matrix, which is highly resilient and it has the capacity or a, um, a quality of tensegrity. That is that the force is uh, not happening as a uh, result of 
solid things pushing against other solid things, but actually an extension, uh, a distribution of energy throughout the whole system. And uh, so we, whenever we reach, we have this, we activate the tensegrity of the, of the system, which then makes it into a non-local event. You're not restricted to, let's say my arm isn't the only thing doing the work. Whenever, whenever I push it out, it's all just happening. There's this, you know, pulleys and gears and, and things are rubber bands are pushing things out there. But the, whatever I reach, then it's happening throughout my whole body. And that extension there activates the wholeness, the coherence of the entire system. Everything is tied together and it allows for us to activate the gin, which is a whole different than the crude muscular force, which is used, we use the term Li to, uh, to, to, to use that. So there is a conscious decision to reach. And 